Good morning. It's a great pleasure to be back in Algiers. It's my second visit. And uh, it's a pleasure to uh, have the opportunity to meet again with so many very serious and professional uh, and warm colleagues. Uh, <clears throat> as everyone knows, the growth of terrorism and uh, traditional criminal acts across national borders makes international cooperation absolutely essential uh, for bringing to justice those who threaten our safety and security. Uh, as we know from our experience in many countries around the world, long-term stability depends on the capacity of governments to coordinate counterterrorism and law enforcement efforts. And um, I was delighted that we could have this inaugural meeting of our bilateral contact group and uh, as the work of this group shows, the United States and Algeria have been uh, and remain committed to working together to counter the threat of groups that seek to launch attacks against innocents. We know very well that Algeria is on the front line in the fight against violent extremists and criminals operating in the region. Uh, the government of Algeria has made great progress in, in, in uh, in restoring peace and increasing security. Algeria is not the country it was 15 years ago. And the progress that Algeria uh, has achieved obviously opens new possibilities for economic, social, and political development. And I want to also uh, make a special note of thanks to uh, the Algerian government uh, for the help it extended to uh, America and, it, and and in particular eight of its citizens, in ferrying them out from uh, Libya yesterday, uh, we greatly appreciate this humanitarian gesture and it underscores uh, the closeness of our cooperation. And with that, let me uh, open it up for your questions. Uh, it's, a, it's a good question. We obviously are concerned that uh, the events in the region uh, create an opening for terrorists, uh, but we are determined to work with our partners to uh, ensure that the terrorists cannot exploit uh, the, the change, the profound change that is going on in the region. That is uh, something that uh, we have discussed with many, our, many of our partners and uh, reaffirmed our determination that terrorists not be able to uh, abuse this moment. I certainly hope my visit hasn't increased the instability or given uh, created new threats. That would be counterproductive. I, and I, I, I frankly haven't been accused of that before. <laughs> Um, I see, okay. Uh, let me, uh, let me uh, put it this way. Uh, obviously, um, we have seen an awful lot of uh, dramatic events uh, in, the, in the Maghreb. We have not seen uh, any uh, notable demonstrations, so far as I'm aware, uh, in the Sahel. Uh, are we uh, concerned? I think we always need to be vigilant about instability. Um, as you know, several of those countries have already had, uh, um, shall we say, detours from democratic practice. Um, uh, uh, Mauritania, of course, has uh, straightened its course, as it were, and has resumed its democracy. We believe that, uh, and we hope Niger is in, in the, uh, uh, moving in the same direction. Are we concerned about instability growing in the region? I think we're just always concerned about instability and, and uh, a very active terrorist group, uh, Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb, seeking to exploit 
uh, what is going on uh, in the region. And of course, um, the southern borders of a number of different countries, uh, including Libya, which is in a state of some turmoil, uh, are really uh, in the Sahel. So uh, that is uh, a great concern, and we do uh, have uh, some worries that uh, terrorists will see this as a moment to exploit, as I suggested before. Uh, at the moment, we have not seen that, but uh, we are at the beginning of uh, uh, a new period, I think, and so it's uh, still early days. Let me uh, just say that the, um, the President uh, and Under Secretary Burns, when he was here, have expressed uh, our appreciation of the uh, uh, Algerian government's lifting of the emergency law. We think it's a very important step. Um, we think that this is obviously a critical time for everyone in the region. Uh, we uh, um, obviously think that the future of Algeria is for Algerians to determine. Uh, there are an awful lot of people in this region who are expressing legitimate aspirations for uh, greater democracy, more prosperity, uh, a more uh, open political space. Uh, we think it is uh, important for uh, the countries in the region to be having these discussions peacefully, cooperatively. Uh, together with their governments, and uh, we are certainly encouraging that. And uh, again, we uh, um, say this as friends, and we are uh, very supportive of uh, the dialogue that is going on. I would just add one thing, which American presidents have said for many years, which is that we have in been improving our institutions and our democracy now for more than 230 years, and we uh, know that it is a constant effort and, uh, and we um, applaud those who uh, take these efforts and that it is important for everyone to be hearing the aspirations of, uh, the peaceful aspirations of people in the region. So um, we stand with the, Al with the Algerian uh, nation as it uh, uh, goes through this fascinating period. I, I didn't hear the last bit of uh, exchange of weapons. Uh, Colonel Gaddafi has certainly pointed the finger at a number of different um, uh, groups for fomenting the unrest in his country. Uh, and we have seen those uh, statements. Uh, I would say that the uh, fundamental issue in Libya, though, is uh, the dissatisfaction of uh, the Libyan people uh, above all, and um, that is the uh, um, central reality of what it is we are seeing in Libya. Um, let me just add that Colonel Gaddafi um, has really lost the legitimacy to rule, as the um, Secretary of State and the President have said and it really is time for him to go and to end the bloodshed against the uh, people of Libya. Now, having said that, um, I have seen the reports about uh, weapons. Uh, I certainly did have conversations with um, our Algerian partners uh, about this possibility, and we share a deep concern about uh, regarding militants and the possibility of weapons um, and the flow of these into areas of instability. Uh, I, I don't think that we should expect 
terrorists to stand idly by as there is an opportunity for them to uh, gain ground. Um, but nonetheless, that is one concern and an important one, uh, but the uh, aspirations of the Libyan people are clearly what is behind what is going on in Libya, and that is uh, uh, something that absolutely needs uh, uh, the attention of, uh, of the international community. confess that in the uh, events that we uh, are witnessing uh, in the Maghreb, in the Persian Gulf, um, we, or at least I, have not taken any time to look at polling on uh, attitudes towards uh, the United States. Uh, although I do think that it's noteworthy that, um, at least according to press accounts, uh, in Tahrir Square, there were uh, virtually no signs or anything that um, put those protests in the context of uh, uh, the United States or any anti-American sentiment whatsoever. But again, I'm just re I'm just referring to press reports, um, and uh, you know we take take that as a good sign. Uh, regarding uh, where precisely. Uh, Algeria should go. I said we are very supportive and, and appreciative of the lifting of the emergency law. It is not for the United States to uh, prescribe the next steps in any, with any specificity. Um, we um, support uh, the right of uh, Algerians, the aspirations of everyone uh, to uh, enjoy universal rights of expression, uh, assembly, and the like. And uh, um, we think that Algeria has a, a, a great opportunity before us, before it, uh, at this particular moment. And uh, we wish it the best and we'll uh, seek to uh, work cooperatively with it as it seeks to uh, achieve greater peace and security and uh, development for its people. You have just uh, been uh, saying that the are only So following that statement you just read, are you thinking about military option in the region? That means a military intervention. And you don't you think that such a military intervention would not raise the anti-American sentiment? First of all, the United States does not seek any uh, more military bases in Africa. Uh, the President um, has given authorization to military and civilian aircraft to assist in the movement of third country nationals out of Libya. And of course, we like uh, the United Kingdom, like France, are flying uh, Egyptian expatriates back to Egypt. Um, we are, um, our, our forces, our, our different assets are standing by to assist in, uh, on humanitarian tasks.